Hello everyone and welcome to this week's Top 5 Wednesday. The topic for this week is simply a children's books, so books from your childhood or children's books that you've read and enjoyed more recently. Um, so I do actually have a mixture of those. Um, four out of five of these actually I did originally read when I was a kid and one of them I read a couple of years ago and I really enjoyed it so I simply had to stick it in this video. So the first one that I want to talk to you about is Roald Dahl's Matilda. Um, the first time I read this I think actually my dad read it to me so that's how young I was um, but I really really loved it and it is definitely one of my favourite Roald Dahl books. I did read most of his books when I was very young. If you somehow don't know what Matilda is about it's about a girl called Matilda who is very bookish, very shy, very quirky. Her family um, don't really treat her in the way that she deserves to be treated but she has a very strong magical power inside her that she learns to nurture and control and ultimately use for good. It's a really lovely story. They made a great film of it as well so I really recommend that you read Matilda and watch the film too because they're both really really great. Next one I want to talk to you about is the one that I read just a couple of years ago and that is Wonder by RJ Palacio. This is a lovely story about a boy called August who has Treacher Collins syndrome which basically just means that he has very severe facial deformities and he is um, moving into mainstream school for the first time and he's really worried about how his peers are going to receive him because of the way he looks and it's just basically about him learning to love himself um, for the way he looks and the amazing person that he is and um, the kids in his class learning to accept him and it's just a really lovely heartwarming story that I thoroughly recommend to everyone especially children but adults will really enjoy it too because it's just really really lovely. The next one I want to talk to you about is The Story of Tracy Beaker by Jacqueline Wilson. Jacqueline Wilson was one of my favourite authors when I was about between the ages of 8 and 12-ish, um, I raced through her books. I absolutely loved them. Story of Tracy Beaker, I think, was possibly one of the first books I read that really kind of spelt it out to me that not everyone was as fortunate as me. Um, if you don't know, Tracy Beaker lives in a children's home and it's basically just about her life and her adventures with the other kids in this home. It's a really lovely story. Um, I think there are a couple of Tracy Beaker books, actually. I know of two. There might even be three of them. Um, they did actually make... Um, Tracy Beaker into a very popular kids BBC TV show here in the UK and I don't know how many people outside of the UK will have seen that TV show but it was very very popular when I was a kid so um, yeah I thoroughly recommend reading Tracy Beaker books and um, watching the Tracy Beaker TV show if you can get your hands on them. The next one I want to talk to you about was actually in my last week's Top 5 Wednesday video as well, but that is of course Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass by Lewis Carroll. Um, it's one of my favourite, a classic children's books and I thoroughly recommend it to anyone who hasn't read it. You can read it pretty much at any time in your life, but it is obviously ultimately a children's book. I think everyone knows the general story of Alice in Wonderland, so I don't think I need to go into that, but yeah, thoroughly recommend reading it if you haven't already. And the last Last one I want to talk to you about is actually a whole series of children's books and that is the A Series of Unfortunate Events books by Lemony Snicket. This is the first one, The Bad Beginning. This is a series of 13 books following the Baudelaire siblings whose parents tragically die at the start of the first book and they are picked up by their mysterious uncle, supposedly Count Olaf, and he takes them in and basically all these terrible unfortunate things start happening to them. They're passed from pillar to post but but always Count Olaf is constantly cropping up in their lives um, and it's very mysterious, very weird, very dark in places but I thoroughly recommend it to kids who like that kind of book, that kind of story that, that has a kind of a dark twist to it. Um, so yeah, thoroughly recommend A Series of Unfortunate Events too. And that is it for this week's Top 5 Wednesday. What are some of your favourite children's books? Please let me know. I will leave all of my social media in the description down below. I hope you're having an awesome day and I'll see you very soon for another the video. Bye bye!